Well, right, right, well, right now you can't because he has a warrant. There's nothing we can do right now. And then if they told you January, you'll have to wait until that time. No. Good morning, guys. Well, it's actually afternoon. We did not end the vlog yesterday. So I feel like we're going to end it with this. We got home at probably like 1130, almost midnight last night. And you happy to be home? Yes, I'm back. I wish I could still be on the beach, but if the kids live there with us, that would be completion. Yes, that would be completion. But now we back. As you can see, we back in our hoodies and okay. jackets. We um, went from being naked and burnt. Yes, when the camera died. But we finna go in here and get something to eat. Then we about to go to the house to clean up before the kids get home. So before we got to pick them up from school and stuff. I'm super excited to see them. I can't wait to see them and hug on them and kiss on them. I'm going to keep my mask on because I told baby we got to keep our mask on for a few days. Um, but we ain't really feeling nothing. But you still, you just got to be safe. I think Mariah got basketball games all week. So it's going to be a busy month i gotta get back on my regimen i know i start back working out what's today i think thursday start back with foxy fox fitness um saturday they having a big event i got a whole bunch of meetings it's a new challenge with my you know my work with tlc so the director's challenge just started if you on my team then i hope that you are ready because we about to go up okay so we got a lot of stuff to do and I got a lot of content that I want to focus on, that I want to do, that I want to get out. And I know baby is the same. She got a lot of shit she want to drop. So, yes, this trip was definitely needed. We definitely enjoyed it. It was one of the best birthdays I've ha I have ever, 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 ever had. It was an amazing way to bring in my 30th. And I'm, I'm excited. So, let's touch up. Go on in here, get something to eat. And then we'll see y'all when we get the kids so we can end this vlog properly. We're home. Look at him. We actually just came from this one's basketball game, which they won. We took her out to eat to Pier 88. Got some seafood. I feel kind of, it's because we tired probably. Good game today, baby. I miss you. And I'm ready. Oh, you got to get your stuff. Hold on. Chattanooga. Chattanooga and YouTube. Welcome to the vlog, you guys. Happy, happy Halloween. It is officially the last day in October. And dang, we ain't even pulled off. We, okay. We've been in the house creating content, as you can see. I got my Harley Quinn unit on. If you do not follow us on Instagram, then go ahead right now as I'm speaking. Click the link in our description box. Follow us. You put it in my seat. I hate when girls do that on the vlog. I hate when I see girls burp. burp. Yes, I cannot stand this. So I apologize, you guys. But please go ahead and go to our Instagram and go and follow us because we got some goodies on there, okay? And by now, our Mexico vlogs should be live. So make sure you guys get caught up on our Mexico vlogs. Yes. Because we were live. <laughs> we had so much time in Cabo. I mean, so much, so time. much time. We had so we much fun. We have enough time, baby. We have enough time. I thought by booking us like five or six days, it was going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. But, baby, we need like seven or eight. Cabo is lit. I would literally go there five, six, seven times. Like, I would keep going there. A month. Yes. Like, it, it felt like my new Miami. Y'all know how much we go to Miami. Baby, I'm just getting here. It's mine. You ain't got no opener. Uh-huh, I already opened it. Uh -huh. I just put it back on Why well, you ain't got no shirt on? This ain't part of Halloween. What? Yeah. Oh, he's running. I was he looking for my running. lip gloss. <laughs> like he got muscles. Mm -hmm. I was looking for my lip gloss. I couldn't find it. Let me put my seatbelt on. You want some of my chapstick? I 
looking so oh, nice. baby this is our first time being out this early while they trick or treat and they said forget this but the thing is we didn't even get our kids no costume because they said trick or treating was canceled in Chattanooga mm -hmm. because of COVID they passed some law though <laughs> So they probably just doing it in this. There, it looks fun. Oh gosh, I can't show the kids. They be this. ready to pull that jeep out. Look, this the mean family right there. Mm -hmm. What this white truck? Yup, that's the ones that's next to us. Yeah, they get ready. They do this mm -hmm. every time mm -hmm. during Halloween. Mm -hmm. Oh, summer gotta come be a part of the Jeep, jeep Club. Dude, they got their jeeps out. Yes, but we are uh, actually we headed downtown to get Enjoy something to eat. Yes, it's gonna be me and baby. Y'all know our anniversary is in November, so we should be willing to true November right now. Yeah. Um, By the time y'all see this. Yeah, or, it should be day one. This 31st, so it's day one for true November. Oh, uh, this day one of true November, so y'all gonna be getting two videos a day. Mm -hmm. Cause this video gotta be dropped this Bye, is so baby. exciting. This is so exciting. Y'all know True Vember is all about me and baby. It's all about our anniversary. Um, so we do a vlog every day in the month of um, November. We used to do three videos a day mm -hmm. in the month of November. It used what to was be, those videos? It used to be a content video in the morning. That was usually my hair or makeup tutorial and then in the afternoon it would be a prank or a challenge and then in the evening it would be a vlog yep of what we did that day so whoo honey i don't know how we used to do that we used to get it done though i know effortlessly well maybe y'all should if y'all like this video and get it to like a lot of likes or something maybe we'll try it for like a couple of days out of the month you know see if we can post three videos a day would y'all like that comment down below and let me know but um i'm gonna go ahead we, i'm gonna text my cousin real quick because i'm gonna see what they doing see if anybody doing anything you know for halloween but other than that it's just me and baby and we decluttering our house so we really you know we got to be back home at a decent time so i have that child but there is a halloween party going on i told sway ball i was gonna pull up we gonna pull up looking regular but i don't look regular you don't look regular but we can pull up Alrighty then we'll see what tonight brings okay oh y'all we made it to taco man and baby said hi she said i disappear i'm this exact color you are <laughs> yeah, good how are you Oh look y'all, I needed her jacket. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> so yeah, so we had Taco Mac and Ooh. We have something to stitch y'all on, but I don't got nothing to stitch y'all on. So I guess I'm gonna show y'all what we order and what our food is. Yeah. Y'all know with everything, like the memes is online. I gotta get a new phone. My screen is cracked. Like you can't see it for real. Look at that. My screen is told the hell back. So I'm finna see their new drinks and see what they get. Cause I am ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Staycation. I'm gonna let y'all know what I get. It was pretty. Matches your outfit.
Good morning, Chattanooga and YouTube. Good morning, you guys. Happy, happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, November 5th. It is a very, very special day because God woke me up this morning and allowed me to, you know, be creative <laughs> because I've been trying to find my creative spirit. I've been trying to get back into the swing of things, into the swing of vlogging. And you guys know we literally have been living in clutter. Like we have been living in clutter. God has blessed us so much. When we moved in this house, you know, we didn't have anything but our couch and our beds. And we slept on an air mattress for the first couple of weeks when we moved. So i'm just so thankful that god has gave me the strength and the motivation and the courage to just keep going because you can't give up so i'm about to get my day started you guys know before i go and do anything i got some errands to run today so before i go and do anything i'm going to take my nutriburst my nrg and i already drank my cbd tea last night i woke up went to the bathroom i have started working out again y'all i'm gonna show y'all a little body shot later because as you can see in these arms your girl is a little thick okay she a little thick and um, I just been okay with it. I was turning up. I was having fun. Let me sit y'all right here because I was turning up. I was having fun and I was enjoying myself for my birthday month and I celebrated my birthday all month long. Y'all, we hadn't been vlogging. Remember, it is True Vember. So this is Erica and I. Girl, what is going on with the camera? Okay, this is Erica and I and I's um anniversary month. Our anniversary is on the 14th. It is going to be six years. Um, was it five? I can't remember. I ain't finna do do the map right now. But we went to Cabo for my birthday to end off my birthday month, and all our footage was on a specific memory card, and the memory card crashed. Child, the memory card went down, and it's not letting us get all our shit. I still had footage to upload on I Am Leo to Leo, and I was like, I mean, not I. Girl, we done switched and did so much stuff. It's just, it's just a lot right now. I still had footage to upload on Lily Yours Truly, and I didn't get to get to it. So, we've been fighting to get that back. I think she got some good news today, so hopefully you guys can get the content. Even if it is old content, I need to get the content edited and get it out. So that's what's been going on. Been having to get a whole lot of shit organized in our businesses. TLC has been amazing. If you are a part of the Lux Infinity Squad up under the leadership of Billionaire B, okay, Bianca Chade and Natalie Nicole and Coach Stormy Wellington herself, then you know i love you and i appreciate you if you're interested in any of that go follow me on instagram because i talk about it all day okay that's all i talk about my tlc but i'm super excited y'all to be back in my in the swing of things into working out it's been super hard because y'all know i did a lot of drinking a lot of smoking a lot of partying you know period and you know, it's really important for me to keep my health in check just because you gain, I mean, just because you have surgery doesn't mean you, you, you don't have to eat healthy because you can gain the weight right back, baby. Okay, if not more, if you don't be careful. So I have enrolled in Foxy Fox, Foxy Fox Fitness. It is a, a training program here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, ran by Raven Moore. So if you guys are in Chattanooga, please, Hit up Foxy Fox Fitness. The link will be down in the description box. Go check her out. She is one of the best trainers in Chattanooga. Y'all, the workouts are lit. She's out here changing lives, transfer, transforming people from the inside out because health is wealth to her. And, you know, it's just, she's just very dear to my heart. She's been pushing me. So, I'll give y'all a little some of that to later tonight because I do got to go work out tonight. But, right now, I'm going to take my products I'm about to go run some errands. It's um, almost 11 o'clock. I have a Zoom opportunity call at 2.30 p.m. today. And I think my baby got a game, but only one parent is allowed at the game. But, yeah. So, I've been talking, I've been talking so much. 
Okay, let me let me get to it. <laughs> Praise the chicken and dress is so bad. I was like, I'ma just wait to Thanksgiving. What day Thanksgiving on? It's on a Thursday. I know that. I'm like, let me look at my calendar. Yeah, I think it's on twenty six. Oh yeah. It's twenty six. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Cause I gotta start getting ready for this Black Friday sales. When is that? The day after Thanksgiving. Hmm. So you wanna have dinner at your house? My house. Mm hmm I'ma try to figure something out. I don't know. Maybe we can go to a cabin. You wanna do that? I don't care. Okay. You All right. Ain't getting on no plane? No, it's a two hour drive. Okay, well let me go in here. All right, baby. I'm glad you thought about calling me for a change. <laughs> I love you, baby. Yes, but I love you. I love you too, baby. Be careful now, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, see you later. Well, who won the game? My mom, him, of course. <laughs> Man, how what she do? I think she did eight. Okay, that's mm -hmm. great. Man, she got there. Something else on her. Mm -hmm. Do you be recording? Yeah, we record um, sometimes. I got to start recording like the whole game. Hi guys, so I am actually in the Brainer area. I'm at this uptown building. I think. Oh, sorry, mom. <laughs> I think that this um I think this building is still with a child support building it. So this is going to be a day I am actually going to take my baby daddy, my baby daddy, <laughs> my daughter's daddy off of child support. Um, I think girl i put him on look i'm talking about girl because it's girl talk now i put him on child support probably when mariah was about two because we was going through like a breakup and all that apparently and you know we be into it and i'm the type of person i'm so independent i don't want to ask you for nothing but i was also the type of person that i believe that if you are no longer in the house with the parent or if you are no longer in the house with the mother of your child then you are obligated to still take care of that household because when you stay there it's called in-home support right and when you're out of there you got to pay child support so i do believe that you know i mean you ladies just got to be careful about who you're going to open up your legs to because they should support you but back then i was young i couldn't communicate um we couldn't communicate and we had to go to the government for it and i was on all type of assistance i was getting food stamps family first all that girl um my daughter never went to daycare so i ain't really get like the daycare assistance but i did have like tent care and all of that stuff so you know it, it just gets real messy and it just gets you know crazy but over the years our daughter is 12 now and we are in a great space um he's always been such an amazing dad um you guys see him in the vlog he like my we, we like brother and sister now you know it's me him and erica we raising our kids and well our daughter and you know we're doing a good job at it so today i'm going to go up here and see what it's going to take to um cancel the child support and take him off because that shit is just not necessary it ain't nothing but some little chump change anyway and it's just not necessary and it, it doesn't it it it's not necessary for our situation. I'm going to put it that way. Because it is necessary for some people's situations. But it's not necessary anymore for mine. And I'm blessed. And I just feel grateful about that. So, that is what we're about to do. Let me put this stuff over here. Let me get my ass about this car child. And let's go in this building. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Gosh, I'll be back. Walking in here in my NRG shirt. I hope it's the right damn deal. Yeah. Ooh, I'm burping because of this waist trainer. Oh, I don't got no mask. They gonna turn me around. Oh, I got one. I'll be back.
so guys I'm on hold because it's appointment only so I'm gonna sit here and see if they got some openings for today if not I gotta schedule an appointment and come back so this way trying to tighten them up but we gonna see the court finds the respondent in willful contempt and suspend and suspend the 180-day sentence and sets the matter for a compliance review. And that compliant the court also sets an arrears repayment of eleven dollars per month. Okay? And because they set that new court date and he didn't show up, they placed the warrant against him. Okay. So what will we do for that? Well, she's gonna have to contact the court. But moving forward, in order for that, what can I do about stopping it so it doesn't keep adding up? Well, right, right, well, right now you can because he has a warrant. There's nothing we can do right now. Then, if they told you January, you'll have to wait until that time. No, right? it was so January of 2020. It's the it's November now. It was. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh yeah. well, he still has the warrant, Miss Horton. So that has to be taken care of first. Okay. Okay, so in order to do that, we contact the courts. That's the court that we will go that we went to show up to and then we can see what we can do from there. Because him having a yeah. warrant and going to jail and wasting time and wasting money, that's uncalled for. Okay, contact the courts and address it with them. Okay. They're the ones that set the warrant. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye. Y'all, these people be foolish. Foolish as fuck. But I'm finna tell him, why didn't you... Hold on. His foolish ass ain't answering the phone. Now I'm finna get mad at him. Please leave your message. <sighs> oh, I just cannot. I just can't. I just can't. Like, they literally just told me, look, we went to court in March of 2019. So, March of 2019 is when I wanted to take him off of assistance at that court hearing, right? So, the, this, the, um, not the district attorney, or is it? Anyways, the appointed attor attorney, um, that they, that the state appoints you, they basically was, like, going in and going down hard on him when he's a good dad, right? And I was like, that's uncalled for. Like, we communicate all of this stuff. And so, basically, I was asking what needs to be done to get him off. So, they was telling me that even though I don't get assistance anymore, this was last year, 2019, even though I don't get assistance anymore, I was no longer getting assistance. I had to wait until that term ended from the moment when I started getting it whenever my baby was younger, right? So they was like, you will have to wait until January 2020 to do this. So granted, it is November 2020 and it's been a busy year, COVID, all this shit that went on and I'm just now getting time to like do it. She telling me that he's had a warrant since July of 2019 that he will have to do 180 days in jail, okay, and pay um, a $1,500 purge. I feel like that's nonsense when I had already asked you guys, how do I go about stopping it then? But that's how they set you up because they always want something. It's always something. So... I'm finna try to call him. Ugh. 
I'll be back, y'all, because I'm irritated. Do you know that you done had a warrant since 2019? No. So when we went to court in March and we tried to get them to stop it, right? And you remember that attorney was acting all stupid or whatever. I feel like he was being spiteful or something. So apparently they sent you some letter in July of 2019 about a court date that you were supposed to have. And they said it's failure to comply. So you got a warrant to do 180 days in jail and pay 1500 in rears. So I was like, they told me that it could be over by January 2020. But with COVID and everything that's been going on, we just now getting here. She was like, well, it's nothing we can do right now because now you have to handle that with the court. But I'm sitting here like, that's retarded. That's just extra bills. That's extra money. Like, why is it nothing that you can do? You, I just feel like it's a setup. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's crazy. I just went, I was just at the courthouse with my daddy. Oh my gosh. My, my daddy just had court on uh, Monday. I was just, I was just down there in the courtroom and everything. Man, since July, 2019. I gotta go. That shit. All right, guys. So I am back home. That situation is definitely a crazy one. Okay, um, but we are getting it handled as best as we can. Trying to figure it out. I just, I really could not believe that that happened. So I'm home. I'm about to get ready for. My opportunity call, which is at 2.30, is 1.20 p.m. So I'm about to go over here to my little half-ass office and set up. Baby should be on her way back home now because she was just getting a lineup um, after she got her hair done. So we got to go see a house at 3. So you guys getting a lot of footage today, okay? Y'all getting a lot of good content today, hunty. Today, hunty. So, let me sit here at my desk, get this stuff situated, and I'll be back to y'all in a minute. It's dark that way. Testing one, two, three. Got too many rocks in my pants. Got Puma drip on me, but I don't do no running. My swag is magnificent. You just keep on bumming. I do what I gotta do. You just do what you can. Stop hating and waiting, debating. Get up off your ass. One minute you at the top, then it's gone in a flash. If I can't do shit else in life, bet I secure the bag. See, you lost it all. That's why they call you trash. Don't even know why you started me. Now I'm on your ass. Oh my god. Yo, Puma drip hard. She gon' suck. Alright, guys. So, y'all just seen me on the opportunity call in the car because the place. That we're going to view um, this house at today is 30 minutes away. Um, and I'm really liking it. We're pulling up and it's curved. It is cute. It's in a cul de sac, but it has a nice driveway. Is that it? This is right here. You sure? Yeah, that's his car right there, baby. Mm. His car, but up to about. It's the house. only house that's for sale right here. The sign right there. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. And action. All right, guys. So this house is four bedrooms, three and a half baths. And it's like 4,000 square feet. A little bit over that. 4,176 square feet. So you walk in the door and you have your formal dining room and your living room. This is the dining room. It's the living room. And this is, I mean, I love this space. I love these windows. I love the opening. You walk through, right? Da, 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 da. This is the half bath. Half That's bath downstairs. Cute. Baby is saying she wish the ceiling for The ceilings are high down here, um, but they're a little lower upstairs. But I love, love, love this office. I can see this being decorated. With lovely looks everywhere. Mm. And it'll be so nice. It's nice. 
They love books too. They read in here. So if you go over here, then you get to the to master. The right. So with the master, we really wanted like double tray, but this is a, a nice size. It's pretty good. And then the master bathroom is through here. To the right. Shower, toilet. That smells really good. <laughs> and this is their closet. Now, unfortunately, we still need a bigger closet. This, this is the pretty much deal the size breaker of our closet that we have now. So we need a bigger closet. Yeah, this is the deal big breaker right here. I can see our closet falling in. Well, no, they got the strong stuff. It would, we'll find a way to make it fall in yeah. with all of our items. This room is slick, kind of plain to me, but that's. Yeah, they will have to dress it up. I like the fact that we we're can not getting this house. Yeah, all right, baby. Good job. Yep. So. All right, we're walking past. We're walking past the book room. We're walking past the office. We're walking past the bathroom and living room. And now we're in the kitchen and dining room. Yes. And this is the kitchen. I usually like white. But this dark is really nice. It's like cherry old guy. And it's, it's really nice. They have a big pantry. I like this big bar right here. Um, it's very roomy. You like it? I love the kitchen. You love the kitchen? Absolutely. We ain't really gonna show y'all the backyard, but it really is not a backyard. There's not much to it. Yeah, it's just like a little porch in the driveway, but we can show y'all the big garage that's attached to this. Um, and that's one thing that we like too, because we do want a three or more car garage. That's the pantry. Kitchen. And the garage. Look how big it is. Look how big it is. Three car garage. And baby. And somebody got the fives, y'all. Look at these. Da 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 da. What size are awesome. Gotta go. Let's go. Let's go upstairs. <sighs> oh, this is the dining room where you first walk in the door that we were showing you. So when you first come in, if you make a left, you will be in a dining room and to the left is to the, is the garage. And if you walk straight ahead, it's the kitchen. But to the left, you could go to the kitchen as well. As we go upstairs. And look at our cute shoes. Sorry, let's keep them upstairs. If you go upstairs to the right, there is bedroom. another bedroom. And it's very roomy. It is. Very spacious. You know what, I love? I'm really old in this tour. Baby's trying to cancel. Let's go to the bathroom <laughs> that's inside of the room with the two beds. We're gonna call it room with two beds. Here's the bathroom. The sink. I like this though, but can you? Yeah. It's like two ways into the bathroom. It's like, I mean, into the bath bathroom and their bedroom. It's kind of like Jack and Jill, but they're not next to each other. Yeah. Right. Then here's another bedroom. See, that's the only that's the downside to this house. You don't know which room you're in because everything looks pretty much the same. I kind of feel like crazy spirits in here. Oh gosh, it's giving me vibes. It's giving me mother may I. <laughs> this is the closet. Let's keep going. Baby spooked out. <sighs> so we just went in three rooms that quick, guys. It feels like you're walking in a maze. And here is the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So there's three bathrooms in here. And here's the final room. This is pretty big as well. Oh, we didn't even take them in the other room where the cats are. Oh, yeah. But let me show y'all, baby. Because y'all been following me the whole time. And I'm really, really, really excited. Okay, here's the final room. It's the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right, David, we're out. <laughs> yes. We'll Our see y'all when we get in the car. Don't forget that.
we love David. Yes. Oh, let me show y'all this last room. Where was it? Because we didn't even show them this one. We did? Oh, we did. See, that's how you get confused. It's here. Oh, yeah, and this then, is another small little storage room. The cats. And then look at the cats. It's Rocket's auntie. Oh, y'all smell bad. No, they don't. Yes, they do. <laughs> Hey cuties. One of them laying in the little box now. Oh, that's Riley's sister then. They need to check that out. <laughs> All Hi, right, y'all. Talk to y'all when we get to the car. I was like, oh no, nah. them vibes that I was feeling from that, it's some it's some evil shit in here. I did not like that. Yeah, it's definitely stuff in the basement. The cats even was trying to be freed. Okay, I just y'all. I was I supposed ain't... to record a video in here. I ain't ever went in the house and felt that type of energy. Like, oh hell no, nah, I wouldn't move here. Yeah, I'll go back and watch the video from the beginning. <laughs> and cut. So, if y'all want to see more of our home tours, if you want to see us go visit more homes and you want to learn more about the home buying process and all the stuff that we are going through, I did not know it was going to take this long, Jesus. But we are on that the search. That was really the quickest we've taken. That I was talking about for the house, like yes. the house searching. Yes, because at this point, you know, I keep on saying, like, I think, I don't know if it's because maybe we won't end up buying here. We ain't finding the one if, if, because it's not in this city or if we need to build or what. I don't know what it is, but God ain't said it's the one yet. So, you know, we we being patient and we're doing what we have to do. And we're gonna, you know, get at y'all next time. All right? Gotta go. Gotta go. All right, guys. So, oh. Welcome back to the vlog. I oh, know you can go in this back way. Uh, no, that's the, that's the ratchet entrance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Look, y'all. We with baby head. She out. Ew, we going in big field. Oh, yeah, they just free baby head. They have been. <laughs> they said, welcome home on the block. Really? Dog today. I was like, they baby got me holding it up, trying to put her mask on. I was like, they done freed Y'all, I look crazy. But well, we are at the big field. Uh -huh. We just got done. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Once we get up out of here, then I'll check in again.